Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're trike swapping my MX350. And this is not an ordinary MX350. I already modified this. This is version one. Now this has a 48 volt and 1800 watt, 5200 RPM motor swap. As you can see, that is not stock. Tripling the top speed on this thing. It's pretty peppy and I like it. But now we're trike swapping it. And then in the future, we're putting an electrical company 50 mile per hour motor so this thing's gonna be crazy when it's complete it's gonna be full suspension and everything's gonna be the fastest mx350 ever okay so i'm gonna start building the rear swing arm for this thing all right so right now i am lining everything up Start from the beginning, you got the bushing, which is gonna be right there. The motor, I'm gonna use the same motor that's on there. This is just testing purposes only. You got the shock, it's a 12 inch, 13 inch shock. Um, here's the jack shaft with, uh, yeah, you know. And then you got the rear end, which is way narrower than I thought, using these Go Power Sports parts, which is not sponsored, but you guys should check out Go Power Sports, great parts. High quality, go check them out. All these parts are for GoPro Power Sports. And you cannot forget about the overkill brake caliper for this thing and brake rotor. It's a super tight fit, especially with the jack shaft and the shock and the caliper. It's gonna be crazy. So let's just, let me figure this out real quick. <laughs> Why did it have to be white? I thought this was black. It really had black stains on it. Bruh. Alrighty, so here it is. I'm um, planning on putting the pieces that I cut from the chassis uh, before. It used to be like right here ish, like that. It's gonna be right here. Uh, it has a bend on it to miss the motor. And then just, you know, put it on there. The motor's still gonna be able to come off. Um, as for the jack shaft, obviously this is gonna get cut. And then for the mount for the bushing, it's gonna be something there. And I'm obviously gonna notch it like that. So let's continue on with this build. Okay, so I just finished making a couple mounts. It's the thing mount, and this is the. Oh, this is the mount for the shock. So yeah, here it is. Oh, it's gonna be for the for there. Hot, it's still hot. My fingers. All right, so yeah. Next, I have to drill, uh, grind all this down, and tack it on there, and we could test everything up. Uh, I mean, this is gonna be a decent amount of travel. I'm not looking for crazy travel. I mean, even though there is gonna be a decent amount of travel in this thing, but uh, yeah, let me grind everything down and tack everything together. <music> Alrighty, so I just did this carbureted design. You know it's about to be crazy when I'm doing cardboard templates. Uh, the holes are not the best, don't mark that. But I'm about to do this out of this steel and it's gonna be the caliper mount for here. And it's gonna have a slight bend right here. So let's get straight into making this carbureted design into metal. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty, so I just got the brake caliper mounted there. As you can see, two screws that I found that fit perfectly in the threads. Uh, kind of welded it, it's halfway welded. Um, but as you can see here, it looks good. It's not bind. The, this is the rigged up shock mount that I have here. Uh, it's pretty crazy, never made a shock mount like this before. And I'm about to mount it right now. Alrighty, so a lot of work has been done. Everything that's going to be on this thing is pretty much on it right now, except for the stuff of the chassis. So right now, where you sit is pretty weak. I will be strengthening it. But for right now, I just want to test out how soft it is. Hopefully, I don't bend or break anything. And yeah, let's see real quick. So, travel test real quick. Not bad. Could be better. I'm about to test out the suspension on this thing. Let's see how it feels. I got the chains installed. I ended up welding the sprockets on there. So yeah, now it's time to get the wiring done and the brakes done. So let's get straight into that. So I wired everything to make it move. Now let's see if this switch turns on. Well, it should be on. I don't know. Sometimes it lights up, sometimes it doesn't, but oh, it's there's movement. Let me try to try to lift it up a bit. This thing is heavy in the back. Oh no, okay. Oh, I got movement. It spins. Let's go. That's good, that's good. Not a big mess here, but let's see. Oh my gosh, well, it works, it's spinning tires. So I'll say that's a success right there, it's a big mess in here, I'm not cleaning this bit. Got everything pretty much together, let's see, with the tires spinning and all. So here it is all put together, ready to go. I already bled the brakes, brakes, all the chain is on. Everything is on. Alrighty, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. A lot of work and progress has been done. The next video, we're gonna be test driving this thing and hopefully everything goes good. Catch you next time in the next video. Peace and God bless.